Over the years, I have met different kind of people who have different kind of kinds of complaints. But the most ridiculous complaint that I have ever encountered actually comes from parents. They say that my son or my daughter doesn't want to study. She doesn't want to study. And that is the most ridiculous complaint that I have ever encountered during my uh, experience as a teacher over a decade and a half. Now, why do I say so that it's it's ridiculous? Because as simple as that, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. Now, you might be wondering that has this fellow gone mad? Because this is not ridiculous. This is something which is a, a basic problem of parents. This is something which is a basic problem in students. They don't want to study. I would like to take you back to a previous session in which I had uh, told you that, you know, there are certain problems which need to remain as problems for a period of time because the solution is not ready. Now, when the solution is not ready, you cannot jump into the problem and squeeze out a solution because that is not going to happen. You cannot have uncooked food. Certain problems need to linger. Certain problems need to wait. Certain problems need to stay because the solution is not ready and the time span of the, of the problem still has a few minutes, a few seconds or a few days left in it. So you cannot jump on to a solution. In the same way, when you are when you are concentrating on this issue, you have to accept the fact that it is absolutely normal for a child for certain, uh, you know, in, in, in certain occasions that she doesn't want to study. It's absolutely normal. You are being offered a chance to go with to a movie with your friend and you just don't want to go. Nobody raises questions that, you know, she doesn't want to go to a movie. That's very bad. You don't want to eat. Uh, say, for an example, Dahivara on certain days. So people don't complain. So why would a person complain that, you know, this girl, she doesn't want to study? Now you can say that why this fellow is blabbering all the time. What's the solution? She doesn't want to study? Fine. The examination is far off? Fine. Don't let her study. Let her not study. Till she finds the urge to study. One day, two days. Sir, how many days should I wait for my child to study? Who are you to wait? She will wait. She will wait. Let her wait for a one day. Let her wait for a couple of days. Let her wait for three days. Let her wait for four days. On the fifth day, she will study. Mark my words. If, if she is not mentally disbalanced, she will find the urge to study. You don't need to wait, my dear parent. Your child will study. But when she is not ready to study, don't force her to study. Tell her certain stories about something related to the, to the uh, you know, things that she is studying. Google a little bit. Try to find out a solution. Now, what happens is that in India, we think that the teacher is going to look after everything of the child. And what is your responsibility towards the person you have brought into this, uh, you know, d dark devil world? Or... For that matter beautiful world so google it if there is you know she doesn't want to study science check out the chapters google it find stories related to that chapter uh, those chapters and tell the person the, the child stories or, or over dinner take her for uh, for one ice cream at the at the end uh, at the at the road end of the road and and tell her the stories Things will come to a, a, you know, a point where she will find that urge to study. The urge will come back to her. Simple solution. We don't think about simple things because we are getting so complicated. Thank you very much.